Hey YouTube. I'm just going to show you today how to uh, propagate uh, from an orange tree. And by propagate, it means to uh, make more plants out of one, basically. Uh, so here's my navel orange tree. You can see it has some mature navel oranges. It even has some little oranges right here. You can probably see. So here's the thing with this one. Uh, there's one branch here that's basically doing nothing. Uh, normally if I didn't want to propagate from it, I would just prune it right off. Uh, and this is it right here. This one has no fruit on it, uh, but it is a nice uh, mature uh, branch that, you know, if it does turn into a tree, uh, it should grow into a, a fruit bearing tree quite quickly, I would think. So here's what you need to do air layering. Uh, the way I'm doing it, anyway. Uh, you need a water bottle. Uh, this is a smaller type one that you get, you know, if they give you like free water at an event. Uh, then you also need uh, some peat moss that's been soaking in water. Uh, I recommend at least half an hour. Um, yeah, you, can, you can have it soaking for hours, it doesn't really matter. You also need some uh, cellophane. Um, Plastic wrap, I guess they call it. You definitely need a knife to do this. Preferably a clean one. If you don't have a clean one, use a dirty one. Probably better if you use a clean one though. Uh, some zip ties. Or these are uh, these are like garbage bag ties. These are some uh, sort of like tin cutters. And then you may or may not need, depending on how things go, uh, some black uh, electrical tape. Or you can use any color of electrical tape, I guess. So the first thing is, uh, you know, you figure out what branch you're going to use. And I know I'm going with this one. All the other ones have fruit. This one's really doing nothing. So what I did after that is I took this water bottle. You don't need the cap. I'll throw that away. And I cut it open. Now. This part right here, you're not going to be able to cut it with a knife. So you're going to use this. So I just went along here, and I cut this open like that. And then I did another notch. And that leaves oops, and that leaves enough room that I can open this up and put you know, this branch in here. And then once I did that, I just cut along here with a knife. All along. Cut along here. This took a lot of like, you know, sawing around. I just made enough room that I should be able to fit this branch uh, inside this. So once you have that figured out, you can fit, you know, slip the branch in. You're going to take your mix of peat moss and water. Now, so once you've figured out uh, what branch you're going to be using, figure out how this will fit before you even start. So I'm looking here. I can see how that will fit. It's going to be a fairly big percentage of the branch, but it should be good. Okay, so I'm going to have some leaves here I need to remove. So I can just use uh, my trusty utility knife and cut off these little leaves that are going to be getting in the way. See how that fits. Okay, so I uh, had to pinch off a couple more leaves, and it does seem to fit on this area. And now I should be able to start my uh, air layer. The first thing you need to do is basically cut the bark off around the area that you're going to be covering. Now I'm just going to cut a circle here. So then see if it peels off. That should work. Oops. 
There, the, now the bark just peels right off. You can almost do it by hand at this point, which is what I'm doing. Now I'm just continuing to peel the bark off by hand. The more of the area you have exposed, the more different areas that roots can protrude from. That's it. You can see that nice and open. Scratching off a little excess here. Okay, and now I'm going to put my bottle over the branch again. Like that. Now, I'm going to start filling up my bottle. Now this isn't an exact science, you're just going to want to try and do the best job you can at filling this up. <clears throat> this can be a little bit messy. I should really say, it's most likely going to be a little bit messy. There, now I'm just going to leave that for a bit because I did soak this peat moss really well and there's a bit more water uh, in this than I would like so I'm just going to let it drip out a little bit so that it's you know moist but not uh, a wet medium. Okay so now that most of the excess water is dripped out. I'm going to use some saran wrap to seal it all up. Now basically your goal here is to seal things up uh, tightly where I cut the bottle in half. I'm just using a twist tie on the end, just to make sure it's sealed. The other end, I just took the cling wrap and wrapped it tightly around the end. So it's sealed.
and so that should be airtight on its own. That's it. Doesn't look the prettiest, uh, but you know, if it works, it'll be pretty easy. I'll just uh, the roots will be growing in the bottle, and that'll be it. So I'll show you guys an update video, and uh, we'll see what happens. This is supposed to take between uh, four to ten weeks, depending on the weather and how well I did it, I guess. So we'll see. Anyways, have a great day. Thanks for watching.